Welcome back to the 9mm Ammo Quest, where I'm looking to find the most effective uh, ammunition from today's modern micro pocket pistols and 9mm versions. These usually have about a 3 inch barrel. So an example would be the Sig 938 or the Diamondback DB9 Smith & Wesson uh, Shield. These are all pistols that have about a 3 inch barrel. And I'm having to test ammo because there's a lot of ammo tests out there, but they're usually conducted from bigger pistols, you know, Glock 19 or something like that, that will deliver higher velocity than the little pistols can. And ammo doesn't perform the same out of every gun. The velocity has a huge impact on how it performs. So the only way to know what's really effective and what's really good for the little pocket pistols is to test from the little pocket pistols. So I'm going to be using a SIG 938 for this testing. And today's candidate is the Hornady XTP uh, Hornady Custom in 124 grain. I tested the 147 grain, and results were mixed, not that good, and I'm not going to be continuing with that round. But the 124 gives me some optimism. The 147 over penetrated. I'm thinking maybe the lighter weight of the 124 will keep it in that range that we need, which is a minimum of 12 inches and a maximum of 18. If it penetrates less than 12, it's out. If it penetrates more than 18, it's out. It's got to penetrate between 12 and 18 in both bare gelatin and also in heavy denim cover gelatin. And the XTP gives me a little bit of optimism because in my 380 ammo quest, I was testing for pocket pistols in 380, and every type of ammunition that I tested that used the Hornady XTP bullet did well, did surprisingly well, did much better than practically any round that I tested that didn't have an XTP. It just had the perfect combination of mild expansion and deep penetration that delivered the best, most effective results from the 380. Well, this isn't a 380, this is a 9mm, and in 9mm, even in little pocket pistols, 9mm is a much more powerful cartridge. So, will that translate into great performance from the XTP in 9mm, or will we end up with a case of, you know, maybe the bullet doesn't expand enough, and then it over penetrates, and then we got to rule it out? Um, I don't know. But we will know very soon because we're going to head out to the range and we're going to give it a test. The 124 grain Hornady Customs, yeah, yeah, they over penetrated. It looks like some of them didn't even expand. Uh, shortest bullet came in at 17 and a half. Then we had one at 17 and three quarters. Those are both within our limits, but the rest of them went too far. One of them 18 and a quarter, and two of them at 19 and a half. You know, the XTP was the hero of the 380 lineup, but uh, doesn't look like it's going to be that for the 9mm. These, granted, they were all through denim, but I mean, that's a classic case of. A bullet just not expanding properly. We had a couple that did okay. And we had one that went to 17 inches and one to 17 and three quarters. And those are both acceptable, but other than these two, the rest of them did not get the job done. They failed to stay within acceptable parameters and their expansion is really, really small. So yeah, no thanks. I had high hopes for the XTP in 9mm. Uh, in fact, such high hopes, if you know my normal testing methodology, we do the bear gelatin test, and then later, if, if it passes the bear gel test, then I will do the uh, heavy denim test using calibrated organic ballistic gelatin. And with the XTP, I actually did the denim test first because I was so sure that it was gonna pass, and I had that third block of gel with me. I normally do three at a time. And I thought, you know, let's go ahead and use it on the Hornady Customs. And uh, the result was not good. It did not pass that test. It failed that test. Uh, in order for the bullet to pass the test, we've got to have between 12 and 18 inches of penetration in both bare gelatin and in the heavy denim gelatin. And it over penetrated in the heavy denim. So there's really no reason to even test it in the bare gelatin. We're just going to go ahead and rule it out. Because in this case... The XTP was not the hero. Instead, XTP kind of standed for extreme TP. Anyway, 
lots more tests coming up. You're going to see the Gold Dodge, you're going to see the Winchester lineup, you're going to see a lot of rounds that are performing much better than what we saw here. If you like Hornady and you want to stick to Hornady, my recommendation is in a 3-inch barrel, no question. No question whatsoever. It's the critical defense is the choice. Uh, the others just don't perform well from that barrel length. Anyway, thanks for watching and hit subscribe so you'll be notified when the next episode is posted.